Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hello! It is Pixmars here, and welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Welcome back to Ace Attorney. <laughs> welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations 2. When we left off, oh, no. we, we, we were doing now, all this investigating. Now. <laughs> now, 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 don't do this voice too much, otherwise you're going you're gonna to scare the viewers away. <laughs> okay, anyways, oh, we're investigating the crime scene and getting all the nitty gritty on the on the lowdowns of the everything, how this and everything we still haven't quite figured that out. Yeah, but we were last on the snowman and, and the bricks. Well, the footsteps. That's we've, right. That's right. Yeah, we've they, got they the left him. set yeah. figured out. Everything else we don't have, but we're gonna use we the are murder full weapon on logic. and the missing brick to connect those together. Yes. Boom. What if it didn't do it? <laughs> I'd be mad. Perhaps the missing brick was the one that was used as the murder weapon. Yeah. And that's it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. It seems to be just the right size to fit in that gap perfectly. Okay. Oh, man. I can tell I was doing my cave voice a lot earlier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's strained real bad. <clears throat> All right. So now. Ooh. I guess we can probably connect that the body was moved and the brick was near the snowman because that kind of says that the body came from there is my assumption because the brick that was used to kill that was from near the snowman and then the body was moved from somewhere so you'd think I'd that'd mean that it was from work, near the snowman yeah. please yeah Yay. as i thought it seems the murder actually occurred near the snowman but the button mr cameron was holding and the murder weapon came from there indeed also if we assume that the killer picked up the brick near the snowman and then tried to sneak up behind Mr. Cameron. Oh, Mr. Cameron totally would have been seen the person picking up the brick. Exactly. Okay, please update the recreation. Mr. Cameron was not in the middle of the flower beds, but near the snowman. Okay, <laughs> I'm on it. That's my name. So this creates a heck Whoa. of a... This creates a heck of a kerfuffle over here. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> No matter how you look at it, this is strange. All the people involved in this case are gathered in the same place. Did we make a mistake here or something? One piece of evidence this recreation is based on is odd. If I had to choose which piece of evidence is fake, which piece of evidence is likely to be fake, that's going to be the picture. Mm -hmm. I think I said that last time. Yeah. I think they faked the picture and did it afterwards to create alibis. Was this photo really taken by Mr. Cameron? Eh? What do you mean? We have no we have proven that whoever killed Mr. Cameron also moved the body. For what reason would they have to deliberate deliberately move his body? Perhaps the culprit wanted to falsify the scene that Mr. Cameron witnessed. And that's why they took a fake photo? They made the president stand under the street light and took a photo with Cameron's camera. It would have been quite simple. Now that you mention it. Mr. Cameron's camera only had one photo on it, right? Indeed. In all likelihood, the original <clears throat> roll of film had been removed from the camera. And after loading a new roll of film into the camera, the fake photo was taken. I see. So this photo must have been taken after Mr. Cameron was killed, right? Oof. Yes. <clears throat> you okay there? No. Exactly. This was not the scene Mr. Cameron was actually witnessed. It's like that this photo was forged evidence. Then, where did Mr. Cameron witness the president and his kidnapper? The photo isn't the only piece of evidence that indicates what Mr. Cameron witnessed. Ah, the testimony he left on the answering machine! Precisely. We should listen to the recording one more time and confirm what we- what we- what- what was said, not we. <laughs> you okay there, Miss Treasurer? Where else could the president and his kidnapper have been? Uh... I mean, if he was over here, he could hide behind the snowman, so you'd actually think that they were probably up here. Where all of this has melted. Because yeah. that doesn't have any accounted for footprints. So I'll say like up here. Uh oh. They're over there? So what's the basis for that claim? Huh. Do I really <laughs> need a basis, a basis for my claims? In other words, you don't know, do you? No. So she wasn't, so it wasn't there. Hmm. <laughs> Let's try remembering what Mr. Cameron said in his eyewitness testimony. Well, let's go ahead and read it again, shall we? Hello, are you asleep? I'm in front of the facility right now, but something's not right. Prison Hong is here of all places, and what's more, crap, the light just went off. I can barely see a thing now. They, I can't believe it, but it almost looks like he's always been kidnapped. So, 
There's the infernal there's facility, no and then there's the light. That's what I was just about to look at. So we need to look for a light. Grant, he's... They're under a light right now. <laughs> Didn't he say something about the situation at the scene? Indeed, Mr. Cameron's testimony should provide a major clue. Oh, the light just went out, so... Wait, well, well, hmm. Huh. Well, that's a predicament, because we have this... Well, I mean, I guess that'd actually be, like, over here. Because that light's out, too. Yeah. Because if he was standing here, it would make sense for him to be here. No. It had to have been at this light yeah. area, so, like, right here. So we were kind of close. Right? Yep. Mr. Cameron said this on the answering machine. The light just went off. I can barely see a thing now. There are only two places here where the lights are broken. The light by the orphanage. Okay. Could you please update the recreation? Roger. Roger, Roger. Oh, no. <laughs> This is... So the kidnapper was near the orphanage? Indeed. With this, we've shown the connection between the orphanage and the kidnapping. So that's why they moved the body and took a fake photo to create false testimony. In order to remove any suspicion towards the orphanage in court. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. With this, the state of the recreation has changed completely. At the time the body was discovered, scene was probably... Has probably been greatly impacted as well. Then let's go check it out right away. Preparations are ready. Since the state of the recreation has changed once again, I should press the Y button and select Change Recreation. Let's give it a try. Yeah, what's up? Oh, I, oh, Change Recreation. Okay, I thought I would do it a different. So you want to recreate the scene based on the police investigation data? This is the time the body was discovered when the police were investigating the scene. Yes. That is exactly what I want. Recreated the scene. Hmm. Okay, so we have him down here. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we can check him out from here. Hmm. Originally, Mr. Cameron's body was here. In order to be con consistent with the fake photo, he was moved to the center of the flower beds. Then the footprints going back and forth from the body, could they be... Indeed. There's only one possibility at the moment. These footprints were probably left by when the body was moved to the flower beds. Okay, and now we mm. have all this emptiness here. Oh, we don't have them up here? Oh, whatever. The, okay. Well, that so, would be the uh, other, it's the other scene. Remember? Yeah, but he said he witnessed the kidnapping from up here, so I figured they would be updated up there. But mm. anything different about the flower bed or anything? So, more suspected. It was just looking none granny. Well, I mean, we got Because them being up there is in the other one. Yeah. They're separate from, from the guy. The blood splatter above the snow. From Jack. There certainly was a substantial amount. It's almost as if the murder was actually committed here. But Mr. Cameron should have been attacked near the snowman. Exactly. In that case, this blood must belong to someone else. What? But the police report said this was Mr. Cameron's blood. The one in charge of this case was Blaze the Best. Yeah. It would have been simple for him to falsify that information. But wouldn't it be faster to just clean up the blood stains rather than falsify the information? He wouldn't be able to do that. Think about it. Blaze knew that Mr. Cameron's body would be discovered here, in which case the forensics department would naturally become involved. Ah, a luminol reaction. They would have discovered it with the power of science. Precisely. It wouldn't have been easy. It wouldn't have been difficult to completely erase all traces of the blood. However, falsifying the results of a blood test would be much easier in comparison. It would just have to switch the results from the forensics report. Ah, what a bummer. Knowing those documents I read were falsified. Uh, looks like Mr. Cameron's clothes were completely soaked in blood. Hmm. If the blood scattered here got on Cameron's clothes. That would mean at the time the blood stains here that had not dried yet. I see. So then this certain somebody's blood was splattered here just a short while before Mr. Cameron was murdered. Indeed. That's exactly right. However, that's the case. Would a new contradiction arise in this recreation? It was the president's blood. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe this is when he was replaced for a fake. That was my thought. <laughs> um, On that theory that you had. Yeah. Okay. So we can deduce, it's not but a I've bad got theory. No. Hmm. For once. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. So what is the contradiction here? 
So the mysterious blood stain left at the crime scene 12 years ago belonged to someone other than the victim, Cameron. Cameron's autopsy report. Uh, cause of death, died instantly after being hit on the head with a brick. At least he died instantly. Yeah. I've got to look through so much evidence here. There's a fire and... Uh, is, would it be the fire? Because we still have to account for the fact that we have that whole scorched ground in the melted snow it's there. It's just like, why is, why does the, why is the blood like in a straight line there up at the top? Well, because the, the blood is cut off because that, I think that might be what we're trying to go for because the blood went away with the snow when it got melted. So this happened before the fire. I think that might be what we're trying to go with here. Because mm. if the blood was there, then it got uh, wept away with, you know, the fire that was there. Wept away? You mean swept away? Yeah, I'm going to present this. Wept means crying. <laughs> I'm crying. And on the inside. This is a clear contradiction. Huh? You mean this blood stain? Do you see how this blood stain is broken up by the remains of the fire? This is proof that the fire occurred after the blood had been scattered around on the area. Huh? But I thought the fire occurred before the murder. It seems that information is suspect as well. If the fire had broken out after the murder, then the child who started the fire should have seen the body and the blood stains. Why then did they not come forward as a witness? It's like that they would have put Blaze at a great disadvantage. Guess I need to investigate this fire in more detail. Oh boy. Hey, you! Uh, yes, sir! <laughs> there should be some records of the fire in the police department under a different case file. I want you to bring me every last investigation report about the fire. Understood, Chief Wu! Oh, and one more thing. What is it, sir? Contact the House of Lang of Zeng in Zhang Fa. Oh. There should be evidence from the case of my old man's room. Getting serious. What do you mean? You just remembered. Why I recognized this scene. A long time ago, I saw a picture in my old man's room. It was a drawing resembling this scene. What did you say? However, I think it looked like something a child drew. Huh. A child? Then the artist may have been in the culprit behind the fire. It should still be somewhere in my old man's room. Have them send it over here. Understood, sir! Do anything for you, Shifu. <laughs> Okay, so, okay, I thought they would bring something back to me before they put me back in the game. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I have anything else. Um, as I say, those two don't really connect. Mm -mm. Um, so, um, how are you? <laughs> you got nothing for His me. His theme, I like it. Yeah. What, what about our, 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 our peeps up there? We haven't talked to them in a while. I don't think they'll have anything updated, probably. Nope. nope. <laughs> what about right. John? He don't care about nothing. John? Nah, nope. he don't care. <laughs> okay. They're just along for the ride. Um, Ray? Ray? This scene sure puts a chill in your bones. Like Ray needs a hot baby. Oh, that's that. Yeah, Never that. mind. <laughs> getting out of here. Getting out of here. Getting out of here. All right. What about um, Francesca? I don't think any of them have updates. <laughs> Oh, well, the body's actually in the way as well. Oh, there we go. Scruffy, don't you dare say what... Yeah, that's right. We already did this. Miss Dedgewood. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. There's nothing about them anymore. So, anything with the body? Originally that. Yeah, yeah. The footprints. Okay, can I investigate the footprints? Invest. Invest. Oh. Okay. Examine. These footprints. Are they really Mr. Cameron's? And she's going to be like... There's a oh, well, oh, shoes, We've already done that. Yeah, so... Okay, what about this? Number two seem to lead to one from the body. Yeah, yeah, the size seven and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. never mind. Okay, maybe I'll go back to this. Maybe there's more I have here to deal with. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, the three gardens yeah. thing. I've already done this. Oh, my God. Okay, seen that and before. And that's why Lang was like, why does this look familiar? Yeah. All right. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's the line. Okay, yeah, this is still blah, all blah, blah. good. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for chiming in. Thank you for <laughs> amnesia and not realizing that you already talked about this. All right, is there anything new here? <laughs> Thanks for having me. I already me. checked this area early, but it never hurts to take another look. But what do you mean? I thought it'd be something new. Uh. Maybe I can investigate the fire. 
This pillar appears to be no, burnt. No, we already investigated that. <laughs> what? What? Uh, what am I missing? No, that's that, and we've already checked everything. I. Maybe I, talk to Lang again. Maybe I'll. Maybe I'll. Maybe Present I'll, something. Maybe. Do you have anything about the blood stain? You keep shoving nope. relevant nonsense under my nose, <laughs> and I'll chew it to pieces. Oh, I think I should put this away for now. I. God, that smirk. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely have no idea anymore. Do we talk? I, we don't talk to them. I don't think. No. A swing decorated with the motor, and then she wants to do a full 360 no scope. <laughs> 360 um, no scope. The bear. It's a bear glue, remember? Yeah, I didn't know if it would have anything new for it. Nope. Oh, uh, what about the door? Hey, door. The dwarfenage. Th this door. I remember seeing it from somewhere. Of course you would. It looks exactly like the Grand Tower's door we saw earlier. But this is a recreation from 12 years ago. That means this door has been here since then. Seems when the Grand Tower was built, they decided to reuse the door rather than destroy it. It's like the old saying goes, discover something new by heating up something old. Uh, it seems she's understood the correct meaning of a saying for once. <laughs> Uh, but if you're using a microwave to do it, don't heat it for over five minutes. Oh my god, Kay. <laughs> um, huh. M I m I may maybe now that we've looked at the door. <laughs> maybe I need to... Maybe I need... That's the wrong button. Maybe I need to switch back to the other scene. Oh. Maybe there'll be something on the other recreation. You want to recreate the scene based on Mr. Cameron's eyewitness testimony? This is the moment of the incident when the president was being kidnapped. Okay. We created the scene. Okay, do we have anything to do about the blood here now? Maybe. The place Cameron's killed was not near the flower beds. So then, whose blood is this? Just now, the state of the recreation has changed completely. Regarding this blood stain. The time the body was discovered scene was probably being greatly impacted as a result. Then let's go check it out right away. Preparations are ready. I already did that since the state of the recreation has changed once again. I should press the buy button and select change recreation, but I already did that. Let's go to try. I already did that. All right, you guys. How about this? How about you two? Nope. <laughs> I, really? Wow. This pillar. The pillar. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, yeah, according to the uh, yeah, yes, yes, and, yes. Yeah. yes. See here. This is one of the children in the orphanage. Yep. Spilled kerosene and set on fire as a brain. Guess that kid had far too much energy. Thanks to that, we can't make out any of the footprints near the main hall. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, okay, so just repeated that part. I was already there, though. Oh my god. I am legitimately. What about I, there? What do you mean? We already did this. Hmm. Pretty sure. They don't want to be important, apparently. <laughs> Maybe. There's no mistaking it. Mr. Cameron was originally here when he took the photo. The killer took a brick from that flower bed and attacked him. Mr. Cameron was hit in the back of the head and grabbed the snowman's right eye as he fell. And since we now know that Mr. Cameron's body was here, the state of the other recreation must have changed as well. I know, indeed. In that <laughs> case, perhaps we should go and investigate it. Oh, my God. They really God. want us to go back. I don't know what else there could be, though. Yeah, what's up? Let's go change it then. Let's just uh, yeah 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 yeah. Shoopa doop a doop. There we go. Recreated. Thank you. Um. Huh. Well. I. <sighs> we're in a bit of a pickle here. I am legitimately confused as to what we could possibly. Right. All the things. These background toys. toys are modeled after a hare and a tortoise from like the fable. The tortoise and the hare competed in race, and in the end, the hare lost. And now for something completely different. It's time for a K quiz. Why did the hare lose? There are three choices. Huh, I already know the answer. It's because the hare took a nap. One, the hare's favorite shoes were stolen by the Yadagarasu. Two, the tortoise trained with the Yadagarasu until it became faster than the hare. Three, unbeknownst to the two animals, the Yadagarasu stole the victory from the shadows. Those are my only choices. <laughs> yes, is it too hard for you? Okay, I'll give you a hint. It starts with a th. She wants me to pick number three. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Um, I. 
That's the tea. Y'all want to talk? What is good? Would you look at that? Yeah, <laughs> sick. Is it <laughs> green? Okay, <laughs> never mind. Um, you don't, Playing? You don't want to talk about anything. So I don't know what I can get from you. I don't have anything. Um, uh, what do you think about this photo? Yes, this evidence that occurred 12 years ago. I guess it should tell you everything. No man failed to protect the country's number one VIP. Because of that... He put everything on the line in his hunt for the culprit after the incident. During that time, my old man, he was like a lifeless ghost. If he just caught his prey, he might have been able to forgive himself. But that shrew Roland, she managed to get away scot-free. No man couldn't repay his debt to the president, nor could he unravel the case. And so began the nightmare that our wolf pack still haven't woken up from to this day. Satisfied? Well, as Clan Zano was damaged, Young Lang's heart was wounded just as badly. Agent Lang can sympathize with oh, your father's regrets. However, that's why he hates prosecutors. Yeah, probably. I'll that's probably performing through investigation why he of this hates case. them. Yeah, I hope your words will serve as some kind of clue. <laughs> that's all you have to say. She saw that talking was a real waste of time. Okay. Mm. Bye. <laughs> Love you. Um. Because, I mean, these are the only two things that we have. Is it, is it, is it, is it, are those, are these really connected? Maybe. I'm going to try it. That's all we have left. I'm just going to hope that I'm missing a connection here and that it works. Wow. Uh, my, time, my brain be dumb. Excuse this me. This whole time. We suppose that Blaze was one of the kidnappers. It becomes more likely that he was dug up yesterday. That what he dug that up he say is connected to the abductions. I wish he was dug up. Same. Ah. What, what is it? I figured it out. It was treasure. Treasure. Okay, Paimon. <laughs> <laughs> treasure. Couldn't Blaze have dug up the ransom money? The hundred million dollar ransom, and buried in the ground until the heat had died down. It's certainly possible. I know, right? Hmm. What was dug up there? Because no, that was what was buried by... Boom. That's all it took. Yeah. <laughs> it was either buried by Knightley or Dogen, but Knightley would have been like... Because Knightley was kid. in his 20s, so he would have been a kid, which, I mean... Was he an orphan? I don't know I anything don't about know. him. <laughs> she threw him back. I brought the info on the fire. The kid started in a photo of the drawing in your father's office. And also... Oh, I've been waiting for this. Hurry up and hand him over. Oh. <laughs> the information held by Agent Lang's father. Wow. That's, well, that, that's, uh, uh, that answers things. I was about to say, that puts things into perspective on that one. <laughs> yeah. This is it. It's exactly what I remembered. This was, this was the picture drawn by the child depicting the night of the incident. It sure looks like it was drawn with the child's touch. As I thought, the one, the one who drew this is most likely the child who started the fire. It's actually really good for a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> Shifu! What now? Sorry, but it's gonna have to wait. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. Why do you think my old man had this? Perhaps he obtained it during the course of his investigation into the incident. Although I don't know why he would have concealed it. Concealed it. <laughs> Agent Lang, might I be able to see the details of the fire? Yeah, sure. I'm going to read it post haste. Post haste. The boy who started the fire snuck out of bed on the night of the incident. Hmm? Seems this boy went missing several days later. Oh. What? Don't tell me that he witnessed something he shouldn't have. That's horrible. He was only a child after all. Well, I'd hate for that to be the case. We can't rule out the possibility entirely. Huh? Apparently the boy left some stuff behind at the orphanage, and it was taken as evidence. Uh... Huh. Interesting. That's the horn. That's the horn The missing from horn the from the doll, yeah. Hmm. What's this? Th that's... What's that doing here? Huh? Mr. Prosecutor. Do you recognize this? Yeah. Yes, I know one piece of evidence that's related to that's related to it. 
Which piece of evidence is related to the boy, boy, boy left behind? Uh, uh, the Mozilla, Mozilla doll, doll that belonged to President. Yeah. I don't know what it's doing here, but isn't that the missing horn from this Mozilla doll? No, what you mean? This came off the President's? You know of it? Yeah, I've noticed the President keep it close by as a decoration. I always thought it was strange how one of the horns was missing. Huh. If you twist the horn, this doll will play back any previous recorded audio. So if you put the missing horn back in place, we might be able to hear a different recording. That's convenient. Yeah. Indeed. It is possible. The doll is currently on the fifth first floor of the Grand Tower. Hey, you. You heard that, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll be right back. <laughs> do, 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 do. She who got it, the mighty Mozilla doll. Well done. Give it to the prosecutor over there. If we insert the horn found at the orphanage into the doll. It's a perfect fit. Well, can you hear anything? Whoa. Amy? Amy. Mr. Huang, it's I Amy. It's been know. a while. I don't know because we get, there's it's Jill. I don't know when. Who's Amy? There is no Amy. No. Huh. Interesting. It's been a while. Well, this isn't Amy, so it can be you. You can read this. <laughs> yeah, I already started to. Okay. <laughs> I saw the news that you would be coming to this country. I was really nervous about doing this, but I decided to send you a message. Please stop the playback! Judge Courtney. But what's wrong? Stop it now! Uh, it's a boy, your son. He's just been born. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that's oh. all I wanted to tell you. <laughs> His name is John. John Marsh. There we go. It's a fine name for him, don't you think? Ah! Marsh? Did she say John? I'll be waiting in the courtyard of the orphanage at midnight on February 9th. Even if it's just once, I want John to be able to meet you. I'm sorry if I'm being selfish, but I'll be waiting. Okay. Well, that kind of puts that into uh, perspective. That answered... A few things. He's for this. No way. That was my. That was your mom. Yes. So. Huh. So John Marsh is the child. I had a of feeling Huang. he was the president. Yeah, that's kid. that's what I thought as well. Of President Huang and Amy, who is the mother. But that makes things a little bad. Because that would probably mean that. Amy was the one that died there. That's unaccounted for. Mm. But then who was the kid? That's the, that's that's a big question that also lays there. Who was the kid that saw everything? And why would Justine be involved in this and become the mom? I don't know. And why was Dogen there? What are all these questions going on? I mean... <sighs> you sure that blood wasn't the president's? I mean, we don't know yet, but what would, what would be the story about Amy? I don't know. I don't know either. John. What's the meaning of this, Miss Courtney? John is not my biological son. He's adopted. Did John know about this? Of course he knew. John's mother, Amy Marsh, passed away about five years ago. Okay. She and I were cousins. Since we were young, we've always been really close. We were often mistaken for sisters. That's why when she passed away, I thought it was only natural that I look after John. Also, there were circumstances which prevented me from revealing his father's identity. I never even told John his father's name. <laughs> and now it's all been revealed, thanks to the recording on that doll. Did John's mother send the doll to the president? Hey, 
Chun. Was he... The president? Really my dad? Yes, he was. Before you were born, Amy worked as a diplomat in Zhang Fa. A diplomat? So that must be how she became acquainted with President Huang. Hang on, didn't you tell me she worked at the orphanage? Yes, after returning to this country, Amy left her job as a diplomat. She always had great passion for charity work, so she began working at the orphanage. Hey, Miss Courtney. So this Amy girl, she called the president there herself, but she never showed up at the scene of the SS5 incident. What's with that? Amy couldn't make it. Apparently someone had been following her the whole night. Perhaps it was Blaze. I can't say for certain, but it's possible that it was his doing. And did no one pay attention to the fact that Dogen and his dog were right there in a picture? Not Apparently not. <laughs> not yet, no. So, we'll get down to the more on the bottom of this next time. There won't be an answer fully Ooh. probably yet, but we're getting closer to it. Wouldn't, but wouldn't that mean that John is like... I don't know, next in line to be the president. It depends on how their 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 government system works, I guess. Yeah. I don't know if like do all presidents have to be elected or is there like uh, that depend I mean that depends on the way it's I mean he's been president for a long time, so it's not just like a True. Uh, it's not like uh, our I don't know US if it's like system. I don't know if it's like a like a king type system. Huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think the biggest thing that would throw this off is that if the president that is like if we were going with the whole fact that the president was killed and replaced then that with, wouldn't with really be doppelganger. that wouldn't be meaningful because this president also had a soft spot for john which that wouldn't be the case if they were swapped yeah so that, that shouldn't might be have case. been amy's blood then but Amy wasn't killed there. Remember, she died five oh, years ago. Right, right. So I don't know what the hell's going on. Who's, but what, I'll assume that? I'll assume that Amy was being followed by Dogen, and I was gonna go with the whole kidnapping thing. But then, it, uh, but the, oh my god, that maybe like a child was kidnapped as like uh, as uh, 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 my brain hurts. We're gonna get. <laughs> we're gonna do this next There's time. There's so we're gonna much do this next to time. figure out. There's oh too my much god. to figure out. We're gonna figure too it out next time. Too much to figure time. out at what? Two a.m. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Bye.